Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chicken Dragon, and the last time we were just about to enter, if I remember correctly, we were just about to enter the Sith base. Let's do this. This is going to be fun, guys. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. We have been storing up our anger at our Sith oppressors. And it is time now to unleash that anger. Unleash that anger in a way that they can not even imagine. Yes, I understand that Basla and T3 both need to level up. And they will get a chance to do that. During our invasion. And it will be an invasion. Oh, no, wait. Whoops. Sorry, I am going the wrong way. Because I'm crazy. I'm crazy. We are doing this for the cheese, ladies and gentlemen. For that sweet, sweet cheese. Shea Gorth is with us. Not really, but... Because it's Star Wars, but... You know what I mean, guys. Sith base, here we come. Dad! Actually, we're going to change the T3. Keep going. Wonderful. T3, please join us I'm here. in our invasion. And I'm going to use Basla for a little bit. Because I feel like having force powers. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata bona nakachu yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun tong nabun shanu yang. Look, here's 50 credits. Just don't hit that alone. Kin <laughs> I like that lady. I just want to say that. Just wait until I'm out of here and shoot the place up. Have fun. Have fun, guys. Okay. Well, actually, yes. let's use Chicken Dragon real quick. I'm gonna slice into that computer. Ooh, actually, I bet you T3 would be better at this. T3, me homie, get over here. Sure. <laughs> Slice into the computer. Wonderful. Access system commands. Upload area schematics. Oh yeah. It's a lot cheaper. Um, let's take turrets offline. Oh, we don't have enough spikes. Okay, let's return to the root menu. Let's see. Barracks main. Barracks secondary. Okay, we could do that, maybe. Yeah, we have four computer spikes. Okay, let's return to the root menu. What can I okay, do? Hey, Basila, you're up. Hi, my homies. Oh, wow. That's a lot of grenades, guys. I think you may be a little bit too much. Let's see how well a lightsaber works. What? Dang it! Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> that was not good, guys. What on earth is wrong with you? Oh, you're level three. Okay, that's what's wrong with you. I see it now. Um... 
Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and boost your intelligence T3, because you appear to be a highly intelligent droid. And we appreciate that. Okay. That's all that we can do. Well, we can level him up again. But we're gonna wait again. Level up. Bastila, your deck's build, it looks like. But I'm gonna give you a little bit more intelligence to go with it. Yeah. Because frankly, two skill points is frankly terrible. It's terrible, Bastila. Okay. Now let's see. Effect Mind is basically wasted on her because she can't use Persuasion. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look for Force Lightning. Now technically, it's a dark side power. And it's restricted by armor. So basically we can't give her armor. But, the that increases the Force Cost, but it's a powerful, powerful sure. little ability. And so I'm going to take advantage of it. Also, force points regenerate, so. Oh! There we go. That's a lot better, guys. Vasla, if you die, I'm suing. I am suing the Jedi Council for ill training at their Padawans. Come on. You shall fall. There we go. This guy has remains. He has a data pad. Let's see what the data pad says. Uh, power conduit installed in the elevator seems to have fall solved the power shortage shortage uh, the power outage problem in the droid finished tuning it today okay good good yes and Basila needs to level up again so let's see um and I can't Get her to use cure. Okay. Not yet at least. Um Fear, which is Dark Side Stun. Let's go with let's go with Stun Droid. That'll be useful. Because we'll probably have quite a few droids and Stun Droid is basically the light side force lightning. Meaning it can only work on droids. Sure. Which is quite frankly ridiculous. Um Really need cure. I'm tempted to go ahead and just get it so that Basila can use it. Do I have an ion grenade? I do. There we go. Everybody else has really intimidating weapon, so uh, weapon sounds, and when you hear mine, it's thump, thump, thump. Great. And we get med packs. Oh, good, 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 good. And, ooh, actually, I think I may know the reason why T3's... Oh. Not doing that hot. Um, let's see if we can't give him... Disruptor pistol, that'll be a good thing for him. And then an ion blaster, that'll be good. And he can always use a computer probe. There we go, T3 yes. is boosted. Um, yeah. Vasla, yes. you're stuck. Let's move forward, ladies and gentlemen, into the standard door. I don't know why it's standard, but it is. Do not step 
in the gas mine. Don't do not step in the gas mine, Basla. T3. No! Dang it. Okay. Slice into the computer T3. Let's see what we got. System commands. And everything that we had it. Anyways. Great. Okay, return to the root menu. Log out. Sure. Guys, we're leaving. Unless. Ooh, supplies. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Hey, wait. I know you. Right, I remember you. How do I get you out? Okay, so what we have here is a bad puzzle. So we do this, that, and that. There we go. Indeed, you can never repay this debt. You owe me. Coolio, guys. Good start, guys. Good start. Let's check everything, though. Don't leave this to... Don't want to leave this to guesswork. Footlocker. Advanced med pack. Ooh, that'll be good. Let's see. Let's just check the map real quick. Okay, we got a big room there. Okay, yeah, so we do want to go down this way. Go down here first. Just loop around. Kill them all! Please! Dang it. Dragon is dead. Basla, you're getting leveled up real quick. Feet, fourth immunity, force immunity stun. Um, yeah, you're getting that, and you're also getting cure because cure is way too useful for me to ignore. Thank you. Okay, Bastila, level up. Uh, 
four speed. That could be fun. Uh, that could definitely be fun to toy around with, but I'm not sure that's a good one for the moment. Let's go with Wound. Yes, Wound sounds good. Yes, die, you Sith dog, die. Kill him with fire! Kill him! Come on, Basila. Single Sith officer should not be causing you this much problems. Oh, a Sith captain. Okay, maybe he should. Never mind. Um, and if you're curious as to why I'm going with a lot of dark side force powers, the simple thing is light side force powers are not that useful in combat. And so it really limits the use. Uh, about the only ones that are actually useful in combat are ones where the... But the only ones that are useful in combat are the ones where it's not really, um, yes, are the ones that are more passive bonuses to rolls rather than actual force powers uh, that are like Sith lightning and some of the other ones. And those are the ones that I would much rather have that hurt, I bet. than a simple bonus to my roll, uh, to the uh, dice rolls that this game has. Shield Disruptor. And if you're wondering what I mean by rolls, this game is old enough that it uses a uh, Dungeons and Dragons base for all of its uh, for all of its attacks and all of its um, all of its uh, for attacks on every side. So say Bastila, we're gonna go in here. Okay. Say these guys start shooting at me, which they're about to. Um, now I'm gonna use shock. In Dungeons and Dragons, what would most likely happen, or my understanding of what would happen, is a dice gets rolled, and if it's above a certain amount, the attack lands. Then another dice is rolled, and the range shows whether it uh, shows how effective the attack that I used is, and each. Um, each group suffers different, um, ooh, that's kind of cool. Each group uh, of enemies suffers different ranges according to damage types, if that makes any sense. I hope it did. <laughs> Chicken Dragon, it is time to level you up, it seems. And yeah, we're gonna give you another point to intelligence. Because you need all the skills. Oh. Okay, fine, we'll give you computer use. Let's start getting you up there. Ooh, and implant level three. Do I have any that can take advantage of that? No. And I want my constitution so that I have more health. What? Ah! 
Now it's just a matter of clearing these guys out. But I believe the way it works is that as you level up, the range for having your attacks not land, like say you have a 20-sided dice and the range is for an attack to land starts out initially at, um, at say between 1 and 5. Well, as you level up, the sure. range for that attack, uh, for that attack to fail shrinks. So instead of it being between 1 and 5, it instead drops to between 1 and 3. Out of 20. Uh, so the odds are a lot better as you level up. Really, Bastila? Really? I'm just going to switch to T3. Throw a frag grenade. Throw a frag grenade. And I'm just going to go ahead and level you up real quick, T3, because I don't want you to die. Please don't die, T3. Save that skill point. Technical logic upgrade. Right now, we're going to need more vitality. Launch another grenade! Light him up, T. There we go. We're alive! We're alive! And that's awesome. And we have a Sith base pass card and an improved energy cell. That's nice. That's real nice. And that's one thing that I really liked about um, Knights of the Old Republic 2 is the upgrade system was a lot better. There was a lot more variety. Um, Knights of the Old Republic 1 is a little bit less on the variety side. And that's what can I do? not really frustrating, but unfortunate. Um... Though I understand because of engine limitations and just technology itself hadn't really caught up yet. Um, dang it, we can't go back. Okay, I'm going to save here real quick because I feel like we might be in a bit of trouble here. That hurt, I bet. Here. 
That's a lot of experience. Let's use a couple of med packs. Get ourselves yes. up. I really wish Basla hadn't done that because I feel like, and if I remember correctly, we're gonna have a boss battle downstairs. So I'm just gonna. Oh, can't interact with it. Um, so we're just going to wait up here and let Basilisk Force Points recharge, because I do not feel like potentially fighting a boss at less than our best. Um, so, the... Don't get me wrong, I adore this game, but the upgrades system leaves a bit to be desired which unfortunately is completely forgivable because of the uh, technology limitations um, but I would much rather be able to upgrade this in a bunch of different ways rather than just one so okay let's go in who dares to break my meditation you will pay for interrupting my wait I sense the force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a force adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the dark side. Isn't it, though? Hmm. Turn away from the dark side. It won't lead to anything. Eh. Look, the Jedi haven't gotten their claws into us that much. But you, Sith, need to be brought for judgment. Eh. Probably you are a still. fool. This is a new age. The Sith shall be the ones passing judgment now. We are the new order of the galaxy. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. Um. Hey, you stay away from my droid. No! Dang it! Dang it, T3, get out of there! Ah! Launch a concussion grenade! Yes! Yes! What? Yes. He has the terrorist launch codes, an adrenaline amplifier, an energy shield, strength gauntlets, and a neural band. Nice. And in the strong box, 500 credits, baby. Woohoo! And in the other strong box, Durasteel bonding alloy, more computer spikes. Wonderful. Security spikes and light battle armor. Wonderful. Let's get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. But the, uh, the problems I actually have with KOTOR are very few and far between. Now, if you're wondering why I referred to the Jedi getting their claws into me, um... A, don't read too much into uh, that. My problem with the Jedi of this era is minimal. Um, however, when you get into the Star Wars lore of once the Clone Wars come around, my problems with the Jedi start to 
really ramp up, shall we say. Um, there's a lot to be desired in the Jedi of the Clone Wars. And I really like what Luke Skywalker did with the Jedi, in the expanded universe at least. Uh, how he worked that. Um, and I'm going to go back to our apartment and upgrade a little bit, I think. Yeah. And then I think I'm going to call it quits for the episode. Next episode, we'll be getting off to Taurus. Finally, you're shouting. You took forever with the quests. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, but there's... Don't get me wrong, the Jedi are well-intentioned during the Clone Wars, but there is a lot of areas where they really compromised when they shouldn't. And I'll probably go more in detail of that when I go into my Star Wars Republic Commando uh, playthrough, which should be starting up probably, probably uh, pretty soon. Um, I was hoping to do it once we got to Dantooine, but... I feel like there's probably a little bit more that we need to... Uh, I feel like I need to get a little bit more done with this game before I start up another playthrough for another game. So... But we'll see. I may change my mind on that once again and begin doing that a little bit early. Okay. But you can upgrade lightsabers, obviously, now that I've done that. Um, yes, Karth, we're going to upgrade that, and that, fix. what do we have, scope and a beam splitter, I don't think anybody's using Mendex at the moment, um, armor, H20 fiber, yeah, but this is what I mean, in KOTOR 2, you had enough upgrades that you could easily go through probably 40 different upgrades for each of these underlays and overlays. Um, and I find it a little bit unfortunate that that's not possible in KOTOR. But, again, I, I ramble, guys. I apologize. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. No, we're not going to do that. I thought we had more that would be upgradable, but okay. Well, this is it for this episode, guys. See you guys next time. Um, if you like, like. If you want, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Um, the uh, My name is Chicken Dragon, and I will see you guys next time. Live long and prosper. May the force be with you. May the odds be ever in your favor. May the drinks be ever in your flavor. May Batman never need to visit your house at midnight. Same thing with Chuck Norris. Um, have a nice day and stay safe out there, guys.